In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to copy viral reels. Now, I'm not really in full support of copying a video, literally word for word, tit for tat, you know what I mean? Like, don't do that, because that's a little weird and like kind of scummy. But you can take people's idea and concepts and then just tweak it to make it your own. And to be honest, I do that all the time. Like, I'll take someone's concept and then just kind of tweak it and make it my own to where it like actually applies to me and then uh, post it, you know? So I'm gonna share with you guys the exact process that I take to go ahead and do that. So that way, like, I'm not reinventing the wheel and actually using what works okay so first thing that you guys want to go ahead and do is find the reel that you guys actually want to copy and this is the reel that i want to copy um this is actually a really good creator like i don't know his name but really good guy um he seems really cool you guys should go ahead and give him a follow he's pretty goaded um but anyways if you guys go to new tab and you guys go to the website down in the description link down below i don't know if this is youtube tos so if it is i'm not actually doing this this is just all alleged activities you know what i'm saying like just copy and paste inside the instagram reels download wait for it to download and then you want to go ahead and hit download video don't click any ads because if you do then you're gonna get a virus and that's not my fault that's yours because you clicked a virus not me um so yeah so you go ahead to download that you want to go ahead and import into adobe premiere pro open the video and then we're just going to open it just like so and then we're going to play it through and as you can see the uh the sequence is really small or the, the video is small so we're just going to go ahead and hit scale to frame size just like that and then let's say you also want to match like the pacing of the video this is actually like the sauce for copying other people's videos is making sure your cuts are on point with the music so if they have a really good cutting to the video you can copy it just by going over here right clicking scene edit detection and then apply a cut at each detected cut point and this is literally going to cut where each cut is at right so if you wanted to match all of these cuts you can go ahead and do that it literally does it for you so it's actually really freaking sick it just overall helps you with your pacing right cool so now what you would do is you just throw in your footage and then you'd start making cuts i'm gonna go ahead and make this actually nest this real quick just like that I'm gonna color grade the footage real fast. Nothing too crazy with my uh, takeover preset pack. If you guys wanna go get it, link down below. Also, there's a holiday sale going on. I don't know if you've uh, been watching my past videos, but we are running a crazy sale on my site. So go ahead and check it out. Pretty gas, for sure from content editors. Save time, save money. It's a win-win. All right, back to the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make random cuts. Like I'm literally just not gonna make this look good at all. Or no, actually, yeah, I'll try, but we ain't gonna try too hard. Just as long as you guys get the concept, I'm happy. So let's go ahead and just match these cuts real quick. Let's go ahead and delete that. Leave that. Maybe cut this. Bring it back. Match cut. Match the cut. Grab this. Match. And essentially you would just do that for the entire video. Now I'm not going to, simply because I just don't want to. I don't have the time, but you guys can do the same thing. You guys get the point. So I'm gonna play it through. Okay, fire. So it's looking really good. So now we wanna go ahead and just copy the text, right? So let's just go ahead and copy the placement. One thing you can do, you can just eyeball it, or if you wanted, you could go over here to view, and then you could go over here, add guide, and just like hit horizontal. And I'm just gonna drag this up to exactly where it's like in the middle, and then that looks pretty good. So now I have a reference point for like where the text is at. Okay, and then you could literally just go ahead, you know, make your own text or just copy the text. For the tutorial, I'm just gonna write, uh, this is a tutorial. And then we're just gonna go over here to a set graphic or properties. Sorry, the new updates got me tripping. Center, center, and then we're just gonna actually move this to where it actually works. So let's bring this down like so. Maybe make the spacing a little bit little smaller, just like that. Bring it down a little bit more. There we go. It looks really good. And then we're just gonna go ahead, drag and drop this over here. And then let's go ahead and see when this actual text ends. So it stops right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and drag this out over here. And where does the next text pop up? Right here. So we're just gonna drag and drop just like that. And then we're gonna show this again. We're gonna do like, this is a new text. Cool. 
Now in the original, I actually had the difference sort of blend mode. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that here. Honestly, it really doesn't look the greatest, but you guys kind of get the, uh, the gist of what's going on here. So then like this video has like a little scaling. So you just make your scaling and you just really would just recreate the edit, but just don't steal it. You know what I mean? Make it your own style. So I'm gonna add a little zoom in and then we'll probably call it a day right there. We'll zoom in, go take our preset pack, transform with motion blur already applied. Come on, baby. That's been a, that's been a theme this, uh, this holiday series, not gonna lie. Use it all the time, that's why. So as you can see, the zoom in, it looks really, really clean. Maybe we could just like default, default. That looks really good. Or, you know, if you wanted to go crazy, if you have the uh, minimal creator pack, uh, not Tom Noski pack, it's the same thing, but I had to rename it for some very exclusive reasons. But yeah, so you could do slide in up just like that. There you go. Maybe that was a little too fast for you. So you could just slide it in like that. So that way it's slow. And then, dude, you got a killer reel and you just copied it tit for tat, but in your own way. So that way you're actually not copying entirely. You know, you're making it unique to you. But anyways, guys, so literally key takeaways is download the video, throw it into your Premiere Pro, use scene edit detection to detect all of the edits or the cut points and then throw on your own edits and just really try not to reinvent the wheel too much. Use what's working and make it your own a little bit. And then uh, you should, in theory, get similar results. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But again, if you have been on the fence about whether or not you should invest into your editing workflow, I highly think now is the time to do it because it is on sale. It's not gonna be on sale for much longer and it probably won't be on sale until next year. So do it now, take the leap, you know, literally, save yourself hours each week editing. Like you only pay me however much you got to pay me. And then after that, you don't got to pay me again and you get to reap the rewards over time, right? Like you could use this pack for the next five years and it could be like the best money you've ever spent. So anyways, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not trying to hard sell you, but uh, you should buy it. <laughs> anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. Peace out.